Hi, we're gonna make the last tutorial for Solus and Solus has here also Solus Mate and uh, we've done already a visit for Solus Budgie and Solus Gnome and now we're gonna install the Solus Mate. So we only want to see to know if the uh, Saturday icons or the servant icons are they okay and just in a general way um, checking out if this uh, the first look and the first installation are okay. The rest of the applications will be checked later on on an SSD system rather than a virtual box as I cannot make it any bigger. And let's try here. No, it's still grayed out. So I really need to install it later on an SSD to really have a good look. So we're gonna install next English OS. Oh, wait a minute. Find it automatically, please. Now I know he knows. Oh, it's too late. Let's try again. It's too late. Um, you have to activate the the switch here. Otherwise, he provides you with the wrong voila, the wrong keyboard. So now he provides me the right keyboard. That uh, happened in the other one in the GNOME uh, uh, video. And then I had, of course, a QWERTY keyboard, which I do not have. I need an Azerty. So erase all the content is for me a best option. Since I already installed GNOME, solid GNOME that is, I'm gonna erase everything back and write mate over it. Next, install. Okay, that's that. Out of the way. So, what do we have? Right mouse click, create folder, stuff like that, change desktop. We can have a menu with the software center, the control center, uh, all stuff. Uh, disks we have, grandpa we have, I have mate we have. So, mate calculator, color selection, dictionary usage, font viewer, the monitor, the mate terminal. That's all mate stuff, pluma. And the rest is just general information, just general applications. But there are some specific mate applications in here. This is well, actually, there's also a mate application. I mean, I'm in doubt, but I think in grandpa is too. And mate. All right. Let's quickly check. We we'll still have some time for some jibber jabber before we can get finally we can reboot and see what it is. We can click here. Seems to be the network manager. Let's see. Yep, that's just a network manager. And the clock, copy time, preferences, help about. Okay, oh, maybe almost done. Let's see. Okay, almost done. Restart. Oh yeah, I have to stop it. Let's see him go into problems. When you start Solos, we'll get to the ISO. When we boot from local drive, we get this error. And we can fix the error if you just pop out this ISO. So then it says, ah, there is only one hard drive here available. I'll just boot from there. And that's great. Do that, please. We're logging in. I have in every release the same problem. Can't make the screen bigger, so guys, bear with me. It's like that. Let's see if I can make the menu. Change that one. Edit menu. Oh. Edit menu. Menu. Okay. I guess we'll do something else. So I just want to change the name here. Uh, look to panel maybe. Let's see. No, it's not the lock that prevents me to open the menu. So I wanted to change the name to Solos or something, but all right, I'll leave it like it is. Um, internet, Firefox. 
Let's download some stuff. I want to start the icons. So you Google and you see what it brings. It brings the first hit, but the first hit actually just points to the second line, second hit, which is gonna be the SourceForge download, which is now downloading. And then the other one I want to check is the surfing icon. Let's see if we get that. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yes, my cat is complaining. She needs to get out. You'll have to wait. And here you can download the zip. Save file, do this. Oops. Okay. So that's already there twice now because of my double click. What's going on? Ouch. Ouch. Something is not right. Let's see if we can get out of it. That's too bad. I think we crashed. The system crashed, I think. Let's see. We're at 14%. One third of our memory is gone. And this is happening now. So, okay, let's uh, reboot them. Power of the system, start the system again. Run. File check problems, of course. That was a hard reboot. Let's see what we have already in our download center. Uh -huh. Okay, we've got this. Extract here is okay. And we got that. Extract here, and that's okay. Uh oh. No, everything looks good. Was a strange number I saw. Okay, delete. Control A, Control C. Let's put that in a hidden folder. So first, Control H. There is no dot icons, so I'm going to create a dot icons, and I'm going to put it in here. That's that. Okay, and then I download them from this one. Control A, Control C. Back to the computer and then icons control V. Something did go wrong. He's still working. All right. Well, now I think we're good. Everything is in there. We'll see in a bit. He's quite slow in copy pasting. Let's be patient. Something for icons. Okay. Something for teams. Okay. Something for display. Okay. Let's find the control center. Something for... How do I set my icons? Appearance. That's the word we're looking for. And then we just take arc dark. I like the arc dark and customize it to have another icon like for instance the Sadly flexible close close all the icons look okay everything should be blue by the way Sadly flexible is blue all the way blue oh but unless <coughs> excuse me unless <coughs> there's something in the empty and uh, in the trash can then we should empty it and then the color becomes again blue all is blue, that's fine. Control center, all blue. Great, software center, all blue. Great, third party, all blue. So that's my check, quick check anyway, just to see that the icons are standard installed or the way they should be. And in this case, all blue, but we can of course change to other icons it was customize icons 
and let's go down to well no I'm not surf surfing papyrus blue so another kind of icon and ooh, these things look really ugly what's going on with those these are not surfing icon themes so there must be surf you know we had a crash here and the surfing icons have not been downloaded properly that's for sure oh no oh no so we're going back to the firefox to the server and again download our zip let's be patient i clicked something should happen so is the one that i should have uh, yeah i think so strange that it does not open and then everything crashes okay when we click here things crash boom again power down power up might be a virtual box thing i don't know uh-huh download so let's take a different look to a list look they seem to seem to be to have the same size anyway extract here that's strange a very strange way to number things anyway let's try again Control H, Control V, and merge everything and tell them to merge everything and see what happens. So, some of these icons are really not the way it was meant to be. So, when this thing moves along, we should see some changes coming or maybe just when we switch we'll see twenty one seconds and we'll know let's take a look around Okay, they don't change like that, so we need to push him and say, come on, this can't be right. Come on, check other icons. Nope, and the surfing icons are okay. Nope, they're not. Ah, oh, sorry, that's surfing again. The Sadi, I mean. The Sadi icons are okay, and the surfing icons are just rubbish why how's my file system how much am i free i have 12 12.8 gigabytes free so that's not the cause i wonder what is the cause then since we did not have the same issue on sardi uh, budgie and we don't have the issue on sardi gnome the question is why do we have this issue here do to, did we have a bad download? Is something wrong? That's possible. Eh? So let's poof by everything gone. And again, everything here gone. I have closed, of course, Firefox. This will be, however, my last attempt to try and install it. what if let's do a different approach let's not do a download zip let's do a git gap a git clone thingy so i can't open a terminal here that's strange there's no possibility to open 
uh, terminal with the right mouse click. So we do it like this. Let's see if Git is installed. No, not installed. Ow, then I have to remember. What was it again? E-O-P-K-G-I-T Git. I think that was a... Uh, uh, yes. Enter. Git is being installed. I wonder if PC is still there. By P-P-I-S-I. Let's see. Ah, it's finished. PI. They've got rid of the PISI thing. Okay, so EOPGK package EO and yet an EO. What is it again? PKJ is probably package and EO. I don't know what it was. Terminal. It's anyway made. So man epoch. Okay. Nope, nothing in there. Minus H. What does it stand for? No explanation. So anyway, it's for installing your packages like apt install or apt-get install or, or pacow or packer or pacman or something like that. Okay. Um, yeah. I, we have, we can clone it. We can clone it. Whoa. We were actually trying to, to clone something. So again, oh, my terminal. Terminal. Made terminal. Where am I now? Okay, and then git clone that one. Now I have this. Control A, Control C, Control H, Control up, and then the icons. Control V. No, cancel. Control V. Okay. I <laughs> don't know what went wrong. Sometimes you have to start from scratch, do it all, do it all over. Okay, I'm a happy guy now. This will change once you really log off and log on again. But everything is looking the way it should be. So I am a happy guy. Files, it's not called files here, but Kaka. And we could have a look at, 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 at the file system. There it is. User, the share, and the applications up here. Okay. All look good. And as well, the control center is looking normal again. So this is what I want you to look at, not the other issues. So, okay, finally, we've checked our Solos mate. Everything works. The Solos icons do work again also, and the side, side icons also. Enjoy. <laughs>